Open RAN is still one of the big talking points in the mobile networking industry, but how is the Open RAN sector developing? Well, to find out, I'm talking today with Volker Ricker, Director and Product Line Manager for Open RAN at Comscope. Volker, thanks very much for joining us again today. Uh, so for the past couple of years, we've been discussing the economics of Open RAN. Uh, what's your view on the state of the Open RAN ecosystem in 2022? So the ecosystem is developing well. Chipset vendors are implementing uh, chips for massive MIMO and multi-carrier environment, and also um, build um, open RAN acceleration cards uh, to support these um, multi massive MIMO units. Operators are doing trials. So they have done trials in, in various locations here in Europe. Uh, even Deutsche Telekom uh, is building a full city called the Open Run City in Old Brandenburg. But they also need to kind of uh, speed up and, and tell the industry when and in which volume they need uh, hardware and, and software because nobody in the Open Run industry is making money today. So we need to prepare and finalize our products, pro products for deployments. Okay. Um, so, uh, at this early stage, is it fair to say that the first open RAN sites have mainly been deployed in rural areas? Sure. M most of the trials are currently uh, ongoing in the rural areas uh, where they don't hurt uh, the, the tra uh, traffic in the networks too much. Um, if they want to move into cities, they need this cutting edge um, um, capacity features like carry aggregation, dynamic spectrum sharing, and also uh, smart scheduling of the traffic uh, over uh, the uh, different layers of the network. And they also need massive MIMO units because they are, or they will carry most of the traffic in these areas. So with that in mind, how do you see the status of Open RAN in urban areas? Um, the status of open run in, in urban areas is more or less uh, not uh, um, deployed yet. So we need to move into this and uh, we need to um, accelerate and, and test uh, massive MIMO units together with the, the open run uh, distributed units. Um, and, and this is uh, for me the logical next step. And how is Massive MIMO developing for Open RAN? Where, where are we with Massive MIMO? As I said, uh, we already have the first units available and they need to be tested now in the cities and in, in the core of the cities and uh, carry a lot of traffic. Um, but also the Open RAN uh, community needs to work on the interface because uh, it needs a respan spin of the Open RAN front hall interface. Uh, currently, they're talking about a uh, version 7.3, so a new um, version of the front hall, which is handling better the massive MIMO units. Okay, and uh, with all this development in mind, ha has Comscope developed a solution for the Open RAN market? Yes, uh, we have developed uh, what we call a reference design for an Open RAN massive MIMO unit um, and the reference design is, is a split architecture where we split uh, the massive MIMO unit into two parts. One is the antenna filter unit, uh, which uh, we um, have developed and the other thing is the electronics, so the chipsets plus uh, the, um, the PAs and, and all the stuff you need to, to do the beamforming. And, and we, we put this reference design out to the industry that uh, um, massive MIMO unit um, suppliers could uh, use this as a benchmark uh, for the rest of the industry. Uh, so we have developed this um, unit uh, together with the Evenstar project and uh, this is um, uh, available for the market. So um, I, I guess this is the multi-billion dollar question. Uh, when do you think the market for open RAN massive MIMO will hit some kind of industrial scale? Yeah, I, I think it, it will not be this year or next year. So uh, we are expecting massive MIMO take up in 2024 or even later when uh, the operators are moving uh, the open RAN deployments into city areas. 
Okay, well, clearly a lot of developments going on in the open RAN sector. You know, the operators are making progress, the community is working hard. So it's great to get your perspective on how things are developing and look forward to catching up again in the future. Thanks very much, Volker. Thank you for letting me share my opinion here and uh, see you next time.